Good morning and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Mike. Doing a bit of a road trip from Melbourne to Perth. Um, there's a bit of therapy, road trip therapy. So coming to Victor Harbour, about 30 k's out. Must have been about 30 kilometers. I had this lady behind me up this road and the sat nav told me to go one way. I disagreed with the sat nav, even though I don't know where I'm going. And so I, I kept going and turned down the next, took the next left. This is, a, this is in the middle of nowhere. And it was a, a dirt road. The lady behind me did the exact same thing in a VW SUV type thing. She did the exact same thing, turned around. And so I went back the way that my sat nav told me to go originally which was all paved and she went a different way and throughout all different speed limits all different traffic all different roads different little towns we went through she was just behind me right then <laughs> hilarious and you find me walking victor harbour staying down in the caravan park right on the ocean basically well, they don't have views and I'm walking into town so I've just spent seven-ish hours driving to get here so I need to get some blood pumping before I go and have some food oh yes yes she's raining she's a bit drizzly so I just can't be bothered doing the stovetop uh, tonight I need some good food in my belly for a good night's sleep, hopefully, in the, in the car. I was so contemplating getting a cabin, but I really need to get used to this car, so sleeping in the car before I cross the Nullarbor. So it's happened again. It's morning. It's not a lot of... I can't see any rain around, which is good. But uh, she was blowing a gale last night. But the car held up fine. Yeah. I've got a site with an ensuite. So that's pretty cool. I can have a shower and all that sort of stuff. And I put a heap of bags in there last night just to give myself a bit more room in here. She's taking a cat for a freaking walk. Oh my God, so when I was making fun of that sign back at the 12 Apostles of you can't take your dog and cat to the 12 Apostles, she's walking her freaking cat. Oh, you me screaming about she's walking her freaking cat and I've got the window open <laughs> for the power cable. She probably heard me. But time to get up, have a shower, go into town and get some breakfast. Or I'll just have a nap. Let's get up. <sighs> bin chicken. That's a bin chicken. I don't know what a bin chicken is. <laughs> You're living up to your name, buddy. Just like that, we're ready.
<laughs> I have no idea if you can hear me. It is so windy up here. We're at Cape Jarvis. This is where the ferry goes over to Kangaroo Island. I can actually see the ferry out there now. He's just left. Don't you love content like this? Here's something we're not doing. There's something we're not doing. We're not taking the ferry. There's something we're not doing. We're not going down to the lighthouse. There's some more windmills. Can't hear them from here. My content today is crap. It really is. I'm, um, <laughs> I'm struggling. Well, I still haven't had breakfast. I thought there was at least going to be like a, I don't know, some sort of food place here, cafe or something, where I could get a coffee and breakfast. Should have just done that in Victor Harbour. I didn't get petrol. I thought there was going to be, I thought there was going to be a little bit more here, to be honest. Uh, but should have enough petrol to get back to Victor Harbour. But what I really need is coffee and breakfast. Ah, oh, but look at this thing. She is getting some rattles. I've noticed some rattles. But she's still running good. I'm purposely not washing her. I want to see how dirty I can get her. And she's not, not horrific at the moment. There's heaps of uh, stone chips. I was going to get fixed. Oh, that's just dirt. It's a bad, look at that. I was going to get those fixed a month or two ago, and I'm actually glad I didn't. Because unless I got it PPF'd, then, uh, then I'd end up in the same position. But yeah, she's running good. All right, food and coffee. I'm sleeping in the car tonight. I need a bit of a break. I know, call me slack, call me lazy, call me weak. I've got a studio cabin. Allow me to charge everything, edit some footage, get some more content out. Here we go. Yeah, lovely. The fridge, the TV, got a bed. PowerPoints are hope so I can charge everything. And then sweet. Nice. forget when you're just filming stuff is how long it takes to get it onto the laptop so I can actually edit it. It takes hours. I've got footage off my phone, footage off the GoPro, footage off the drone, plus all the audio that I've been recording. Some of it goes into the phone at the same time, some not. And plus also charging. So here we've got stuff importing from my phone. I'll do the GoPro next. Down here I've got all the drone stuff charging. So batteries and the wireless remote. Over here on this other stand I've got the, uh, the gimbal I use, the DJI gimbal and the microphones, they're charging. It looks like they're finished. This is my battery. She still won't work unless I have the light on. That's uh, obviously a product fault. What else we got? And that's it. And so I don't have power running to the laptop at the moment. So I'm watching this. It's a 2018 MacBook Pro. And she likes to go through the juice these days. <laughs> 